What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video, now in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use scripts and values, so, so how you can use, um, how you can use, um, math random, specifically math random and values, so number values to be exact. So let's go ahead right here, and we're going to rename this one to number values, so there's no exchanging, so we don't get confused, number value, like that. Okay, so I was working on this before, but the crashed, so let's just go ahead here, guys. So, we're going to do script.parent, because uh, that is everything together with it, is the parent. So, we're going to do script.parent, and then dot number, va number value, so you see it's found it. And we're going to do dot, and there's all these, okay? So, we're going to do value, because that's... What we're looking for we are looking for its value and we want to set that value to a random number so you type in math.random and then one comma five one comma five means any number between one and five and there's no decimals okay so then next we're going to do if um we're going to do if um script.parent so you can just go ahead and copy and paste that it's script.parent yeah if like if equals equals one then we wanted to do something so i'm gonna do it print um print hello world okay so to test if this works we're gonna just gonna take one to one we're gonna see if that works so we can go ahead and right here test run see if that works see it says hello world so yeah, it, right now it is working guys, so let's go ahead and stop the script quick, and let's go back to the scripting. So what we're going to do is set it back to 1.5 so we can do that again, so let's just type in 1, okay, so now we know that it's 1. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and do all the other stuff. So and then we're going to do else if, so if it's not that, then we can, else if, so if it's not that, then it might be two, right? So, yeah, else if script.parent, like that, equals equals two, then print. Then we wanted to print two, right? Because it chose two. So let's go ahead and uh, just put this back so it works. And let's just do like this. And then again, we're gonna do the exact same until the yeah. Yeah, that's we're just gonna do that all the time. So I'm just gonna push that out in equals equals three. Okay, so equals equals three. Then and then when it's three, then we're gonna make it print three. Wait, how is it? No, it's definitely not like that. <laughs> what were I thinking? Alright, so, again, four. We're gonna do else if that again equals equals four. Then, oops. Then, what we're gonna get it to? Then, print. Now we'll get it to print full, right? Because it's full. Let's go ahead and do like this. Like that. Print full. Print, yeah. Exactly. Now, else if equals equals 5. So if it's now 5, then now we'll get it to say subscribe to Fripster, okay? So let's just take that. T check out. Oh, look. Okay. So um, uh, if it's 5, then um, and it says subscribe to Fripster. Then subscribe, okay? So let's see if we're lucky enough. So if it's five, then print subscribe to Fripster. Okay, let's go ahead right here and we're gonna run the script. Let's see what it says. It, it could actually be so funny if it actually worked. Oh, it actually said subscribe to Fripster. So you see right there. 
it actually works, guys. So it randomizes it, just to show you this again, right? Let's go ahead and click run again. And to show you that it's just not fake, now it's just one, right? If we go in, um, wait a minute. If we go in here and we find the value, workspace, and if we check out the number value, it's just one. So it correlates, so it's the same. No, that was just a quick tutorial on how to do this. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, see you in the next video, guys.